Hello goaltending students, my name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Beer leagues are home to every insurance company's favorite activity, drunk hockey. Alcohol, heavy contact, and open grounds for a fight. They use this scenario on the risk management finals at BU. It's extra fun when you're a goalie because we rely on our balance, agility, and reaction time. Three motor skills that go out the window when you are shit-faced. But hey man, this isn't the Stanley Cup Finals. This is Beer League. Granted, Beer League is a loose term for an informal, mostly adult league, and drinking beer isn't actually part of the rules. In fact, in most rinks, if you bring beer onto the bench or onto the ice, you'll get yelled at. I know that because I'm no longer allowed to play hockey in Woburn. That aside, there will definitely be peer pressure involved. And in a league where no one is keeping score, why not give it a try? The worst that could happen is dehydration, bodily injury, and DUI charges. But who really wants a job anyway? So in this episode of Goalie Smarts, I'm going to take you through one of the dumbest decisions you can make in sports. This is Goalie Smarts episode 53, how to play goalie drunk. Step one, get drunk. This is the first step to playing goalie drunk as far as I know. If you're trying to turn up, you need to call all of your teammates ahead of time and make sure the beer situation is secured. Hey, what's up, bro? It's your boy, Guillaume. Yo, are you trying to get drunk tomorrow or what? Since apparently all your teammates are a bunch of pussies, you're gonna have to be the one who supplies the hardware. Shamelessly pour yourself a Red Bull and vodka in front of all your teammates and remember that they are enablers. Mix this sweet, energizing chemical bath with the finest vodka you could find in your mother's liquor cabinet and bring it to your 6 a.m. hockey game. Offer this drink to everyone in the locker room and when they refuse, make sure that everyone within five miles knows they're a bitch. You know, they make pre-workout and fat burners out of caffeine, so you're kind of being healthy here. Drink a disgusting amount of this mixture and stumble onto the ice and play your game. Step two, struggle. This was a bad decision and if you actually do this, you have a problem. This is not the casual beer drinking that people associate with Beer League. This is about as intense as it gets. There is no question you are going to get let up. When you're not reacting to a shot three seconds after it happens, you're gonna be sending it to the bench to puke up your protein shake you drank this morning because you're an athlete and not because you were running late. Step three, blackout. Of course you're gonna blackout. There was like eight shots of vodka in that shit you made. Now that you're on the ground completely incapacitated, you'll still at least be covering some of the net. Uh, hopefully you passed out in an ideal spot for cutting down the angle. Luckily this is the morning game and there is nothing going on at the rink until 12 o'clock, so you'll have some time to sober up. And by sober up, I mean get woken up by the Zamboni an hour after the game ends. Hopefully they don't kick you out of this rink too. Thank you for watching the 53rd episode of Goalie Smarts with Guillaume Duclair. This episode was suggested by the Blake Nasty channel. If you have an idea for the next episode, comment up below. Otherwise, I'm Guillaume Duclair and I'm out, bitches. Yeah.